thanks Kelly and Robin both for uh, letting me be with you today. And thanks to so many people from around the country from joining. I was loving watching uh, all the all the locations uh, pop in on the chat. Uh, so we have people from everywhere. So thanks for taking your time to do this. I know how valuable this conference is for certainly for our buyers, but also for sellers throughout the federal marketplace. So it's great to have a chance to talk to you a little bit as you get started. You know, when this new year rolled around, I said to the team several months back that our challenge at GSA was to focus on one thing this year, and that was delivery. Delivering value for the American people, delivering value for the agencies we serve, delivering value for our industry partners. And I know that same interest in finding ways to deliver value to customers is what motivates the folks that have joined this call today, and that's why you're here. I'll tell you that for GSA, all of this means, uh, you know, finding ways to support our agency partners better. We want to foster a vibrant marketplace that really helps them deliver on their missions. But it also means making it easier and a better experience for innovative companies and businesses that want to offer their products and services to us, the world's largest buyer. And you, it's our job to make that easier. But overall, we know that like delivering a good experience for the American people, the ones we're here to serve, is only going to happen when we all stay closely aligned and really partner together to make that happen. And the good news, of course, you all know this as much as I do, is that right now we're living in this really unique moment where we have momentum and money at the same time to really work on and invest in important priorities, like our national security, like increasing our competitiveness globally, like investing in America to create good paying jobs here in America, saving taxpayer money, ensuring the planet's healthier for our kids. You know, these aren't things you always get to work on uh, in government. And we're in the middle of being able to have a huge impact on that. And the procurement community is fundamentally important to making that impact. So I want to talk a little bit about that and what GSA is, what we think our role is in all of this. Some of you may have heard Sonny Hashmi, our FAST commissioner, talk about his top priorities. And they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty basic and they're things that I think all of us could agree on. The first is, it's our job at GSA and it's FAST to create tremendous value for agencies and taxpayers. Second, is that it's our job to help create a thriving federal marketplace. And the third is that we all need to make it dead easy to do business with the government. So I want to first, I know we got a lot of government folks in the room, feds. I want to first talk to you all because I know that you were ba balancing lots of competing priorities right now. And when it comes to buying, you want to get what you need at the best price as fast as you can get it. But I know you're also trying to balance a lot of other administration priorities and initiatives like Buy Clean or Made in America, cybersecurity, supporting veterans, promoting equity in small disadvantaged businesses. Those are all things that are really important that we have put on you to help try to balance. We've heard you loud and clear. You want better tools to make that job easier. And so we're taking action on that. What we want to do is what I want to do today is like just highlight a couple of the tools that we hope to have in your hands and and get you know hear have you like give feedback uh, throughout this conference about whether you think that's working and what we can do better. So first of all, we all know that supporting small businesses is smart for the country and a big important priority. Uh, the Biden administration has set a really ambitious goal of increasing federal contract spending with small and disadvantaged businesses to 15% by 2025. Now, to make that goal attainable for government buyers, we've launched two resources that we want to, we want to help with and hope that it will. First is, we have this new government-wide procurement equity tool. I hope if somebody from the team can drop a link in about that, that would be great. The idea is that this, ag this helps agencies more easily find the right small and disadvantaged businesses. Uh, some of those firms maybe you've been working with for years, maybe others are new to the federal marketplace. In either case, all of them can help you meet your SDB goals and give you just the right product and service you need. So hope you'll take a look at that. The second is we launched a supplier base dashboard. And somebody please drop a link on that one as well so folks can see it. And this tracks how every agency and the government overall is doing when it comes to various small business and socioeconomic procurement goals. 
we think that those two tools are going to be important just because we not only because we want to hit the number, right? They're important because we know these small businesses are the ones who create jobs and strengthen our communities and grow our economy from, as the president likes to say, the bottom up and the middle out. So I really hope you'll take a look at those. Let us know what you think, how we can improve them, or if there are some other tools that you could use that would make your life easier and make it easier for you to make well-informed buying decisions when it comes to small business. Another area that I know everybody's talking a lot about, and there's a lot of money and momentum behind, is around sustainability. That's another smart investment. It's an important priority for the country. And that's why GSA has put teams together to make it even easier for you all to buy clean. Now, I will tell you, I have been in and out of government a lot through my career, and I have never seen the kind of coordinated focus on this topic that I've seen from the White House to the Department of Energy to the Department of Defense to GSA and others across the board. Folks are on the same page about how important this is. They're on the same page about buy clean efforts and they're working, believe it or not, to develop common standards and aggregate demand in these areas where it makes sense. And now for GSA, for us, we got about $2 billion in IRA funding to help invest in what's called low embodied carbon building materials for our federal buildings. And this is especially important because you may not know this, but the most commonly purchased things for all these building materials are things like concrete, asphalt, glass, and steel. But what you may not know is that those are also some of the biggest polluters during the production cycle. So we wanted to address that. And so GSA teams have teamed up with folks across the government and worked hard to talk to experts, to get insights from industry partners and really develop sensible standards about that emission standards through the production cycle, life cycle. In fact, I, I will can say that today we're announcing a plan to pilot those new standards at 11 different projects and sites around the country. And the idea here is that by us doing the heavy lifting on developing these kind of pilots and standards, GSA is gonna help lay the groundwork for other agencies to follow suit and also at the same time, reduce all the burdens and the red tape on industry partners, making it easier for them to know what the government wants to buy across the board. So another example of a GSA tool that we think is gonna help both buyers and sellers is our government-wide acquisition contracts. Y'all know these well. Our GWACs, they include everything from industrial products to construction services, IT equipment, travel, all kinds of things. And as many of y'all know, these GWACs, uh, with those, what GSA does is they define some specs and make the ask rather than having every single agency have to ask for the same thing. We think, we know it's an approach that lowers costs for agencies and helps coordinate our needs and ultimately saves taxpayer money. Now, obviously, these GWACs also help streamline the process to buy and selling to the government for our industry partners. So, for anybody on the call who's interested in getting on one of these contracts or learning more about them, you have come to the right place. We've got lots of folks who are familiar with them. The idea is that you only have to enter your information and go through the process one time, and then it makes it easier for us, those in government who are the buyers, to know what you're offering uh, and to make sure that we can cut back on as much red tape and avoid duplication uh, as you get into this work. And I'll I will say that I hope you hear a common thread through all of these things that I've ticked off. It really is that we're focused on putting our user experience, both of our buyers and sellers, really at the center of everything we do. And the fact is that is no accident. It's a big priority for the president. The president's management agenda and executive orders all talk about customer experience and figuring out how to make that better. And at GSA, that isn't just evaluating programs after the fact, after we've rolled them out to get people's feedback. What we wanna do and have been doing is bring folks in from this community from the start. Because we know we have the best chance of success when we get your input at the beginning and build tools that actually work for you. So we're doing this now. We're trying to take a deep dive with our partners and customers to make sure these platforms are actually useful. Because we know in the end, that cutting out any kind of unnecessary red tape and paperwork is the best way uh, that we can, we can achieve all of our outcomes. One of the really clear examples of this and one that I love is uh, this, kind, we call it the human-centered design approach, uh, is uh, buy.gsa.gov. So please, folks, put that up on the screen as well so people can 
tap into that and take a look at it. If you haven't already looked at this site, uh, it's in a beta right now, but it's a consolidated site that intends to simplify the market research to help with acquisition planning. And it's better, we think, than other sites because we talk to y'all first to determine exactly what you actually need before we put it together. It was built with your input, based on your feedback, and we intend to keep refining it as, the, as you all give us more feedback. So if you go there, take a look, there are all kinds of like document templates and popular documents and pricing resources and other things you need to complete your solic solicitation and do research. And you can also even find others from the acquisition community who are subject matter experts and GSA staff who are sharing the latest information and news. So we, we think it's really useful uh, and we want it to become the norm of the products that we're putting out, uh, not something that's unusual. But again, what we need is to ingrain this kind of mentality about a user focus and making it easy to get this information in everything we do throughout government procurement. We stand ready to add, like help with all of this. We want you all to ask us and we want to ask some of the hard questions, like how can we adapt what's considered to be maybe a tried and true process to something that better meets the needs of a fast changing marketplace. How do we do that? How do we make it easier for buyers and sellers to connect in this complex, you know, disparate, sometimes hybrid environment? How do we make procurement simple and easy and intuitive, and bring better value to taxpayers every time we can? So my hope for today at this conference is that as y'all like talk to each other, hear these sessions and add your questions and ideas that you'll continue to help GSA answer some of these kind of foundational questions. And finally, I guess just I want you to know that we're really serious about your input and feedback. Uh, we know that the best way to continue delivering better for the American people uh, is with your partnership and with your help. So I just want to say thanks in advance for uh, being here, for being a partner with GSA. We know it's a great lineup of events and hope you all make the best of your time at FAST 23. So thanks, Kelly, and hope you all have a great, great event. I look forward to hearing about it.